congratulations on your win at the weekend and looking forward to Saturday. That's very good looking back to yesterday as well. Is it a performance from the Scouts that you wish they didn't put up and maybe you wish that Munster didn't play that well in terms of how you, the team you're going to have to face on Saturday? No, I think I think more important than what other teams do is we try to to control the controllables. That is what we can do or what we uh, should do. Having said that, I can definitely expect a bounce from from the Scarlets. You know, uh, uh, they they are going to come full steam. Like and 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 I think it wasn't a great performance from them at their home. So. Um, the best way when you have a bad game is to go and 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 play well the following week, you know, and that, and that's how uh, how this uh, like high performance sport goes. Like it's like a roller coaster, you know. Like you can be up here one day or down there the other one, and then you can get up there. So we need to make sure that we we prepare properly, and because in my opinion, Scarlets are one of the best attacking teams in the league and 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 they play such a good rugby and 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 also um we know uh, well we know Hugh is in their defense so what they will be trying to do in terms of defense and and we know they have plenty of internationals so it will be a very very tough game for us and that's the way we are preparing and in terms of game plan does that change the amount of focus you put on the first 10 or 15 minutes because you, you can really know what to expect from them in that, in that opening exchange. Well, yes, definitely. But that, that's always, you know, you, we, we always talk about trying to get a fast start, uh, fast start you know, and, and, and trying to get on those first 10, 15 minutes. But this game will go for 80 minutes. I can guarantee you it won't be enough if we just prepare for 10, 15 minutes, initial 10, 15 minutes, because they are a, a team that they are capable of coming back from any score. They are capable of scoring tries from 90 meters. Uh, They're a team that they play really well with ball in hand and, and they are hard to, to break. Although they, they didn't have a, a good game the last weekend, they are, they are a tough team to break. So, um, and I, I'm expecting them to put a really gutsy performance as well. To all that quality, adding a, a, a fair bit of attitude, it will always be a, a hard, hard game for us, you know. And can I just ask in terms of your own experience with knee injuries and how closely you would have seen Dan Levy or Max Deegan rehabilitating and just the news that's coming out in Munster this morning about uh, R.G. Sneeman, what would you say is the single most important thing when you're trying to rehab from a serious injury like that? What advice could you give to, to somebody from your experience? No, yeah, from, from the news of, of Snyman, uh, I feel sorry for him. You know, it's one of those things that um, sport, it's, it's the bad side of sport, you know, injuries and coming back from an injury into another one similar or it's it's hard. I think the, the, the biggest part is like, I always say, like, uh, when you're injured and you have a long-term injury, you need to look after yourself even more than when you are fit, you know, because it's, it's the more you look after yourself, it's the quicker and, and better you'll come back. And it's always, um, I think it's, it's always a bit of, of uh, a character and, and personality uh, forming, like injuries will form your character and, and personality because you'll, I'm pretty sure that uh, he'll, yeah, it's, it's a setback, but he's looking like already forward on, on saying I'll come stronger and better, you know, and and that's the mentality probably champions have. So I'm pretty sure he'll he'll do the same. Um, you can see Dan, Max, but Dan that he had a horrible knee injury, how hard he works and his 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 positivity and, and like he says he'll get to work. He was before the injury, you know, and and it's not about time, it's about keep that resilience of keep going and working, working baby steps every day to get better and better and um, that's the way they, they approach it, you know, and, and it's it's admirable here uh, by Dan, Max, you know. Thanks, Lee, the best luck at weekend. Cheers. Uh, do you expect him to be fit for this weekend? 
No, no, he's he's got a, a, a hip problem that it, it needs further assessment because um, but but he's ruled out for for this weekend, you know. Um, yeah, very unlucky, like it's a big knock into his hip. Uh, he wanted to keep on playing, but you know, it's it's one of those things that uh, you can't. So, um, yeah, it's 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 another setback for him. But um, yeah, hopefully it's not it's not that bad, you know. Yeah, do you know the time frame for his return? No, not really, because it, it needs further assessment. I can I can definitely say he won't be available for this weekend, but hopefully, hopefully he will be available for the following following game. You know, uh, as much as it is a short week turn turn around, but he might be. Um, but we we don't know exactly the the time frame yet. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'd say it's frustrating, but again, it's about showing greed and, and resilience, you know, and, and just getting on with it. And and, and I, I think maybe those are th also things that show you that what you can do and improve yourself to make sure that that those little things or what you can control, uh, make sure you control it so that they don't happen, you know. Uh, having said that, it's been, it's not that it was a, a negligence or something he did wrong, you know, it's it's like a knock in a game and actually, um, you know, he wanted to keep on playing. But yeah, it's, it's probably it's frustrating, but there's, you can play the big team or just go and track on track and get better and, and, and and turn it around and, and make sure he comes stronger and better for when he has a, a, another opportunity, you know. Uh, Felipe, it's done. Um, with two games to go, is it possible to get a more consistent side, this, this side of the Autumn Series? So with two games to... What was the... Two, two games to go before the Autumn Series. Is, is it possible to have a more consistent side? W w uh, in selection, in, uh, in selection. Uh, well, yeah. We, we, the, the truth is that um, we are always trying to put the best side we can to play the games, you know. And and sometimes, uh, as we always explain, always explain, it's not about just names. Is who is fit, physically and mentally prepared for the game, and also um, managing the squad, and and also it's it's part of. For example, there are some guys that they they are they will be available for selection for the first time. The Lions, you know, the guys that went on the Lions tour. So, um, how do you reinsert them and so on? There are a lot. It's 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 not just a, a straightforward uh, thing of saying okay, we have these players and just go by their name. We need to make sure that. That the the guys who we put on at the weekend or who we select are the guys that we we've, we've prepared them to to be successful, you know, and and that's our theme in selection. So hopefully we can be more steady, if you want to say it in selection. But it, we can't tell, you know, who who will be available either. Okay, the, the preseason certainly seems to have been good for Johnny Sexton. Would you say it's one of the best preseasons for the team? Uh, for the team, well, it, it's been a it, it's been a good preseason, definitely, and I think we we try always to make the best out of it. For Johnny, in particular, I think it's been one of his first preseasons. <laughs> I'd say it's like he uh, he's you know if you want to see the positive side of of not being involved in a, in a, an international calendar like for Ireland or the Lions is that he was able to make a, a proper precision and for him um, at that especially at, at, at his age the feeder you can keep and try to to keep your your fitness to to be able to run at the same pace at 20 year old boys uh, it's very important so for him it's been very important and for us I think it, it was it was a good precision um, we are lucky here in, in, in Ireland compared to some other places that where, where we have a, a 
quite a not I wouldn't say lengthy preseason, but we have a a few weeks rather than than a two or three weeks preseason. We have like eight weeks preseason, and and that gives us the opportunity to to get fit, not only get fit stronger, but but also to to get a more cohesion in on on our game, you know. Indeed, and finally, uh, Scarlett, I see the old black captain Sean Fitzpatrick has been brought onto the board to bring ballast to the brand, to the Scarlet's brand. Do you think that can make a difference at that level? Well, look, I, I I'd say he's he's more than a qualified opinion in terms of rugby, you know. So, but but. I'm not. I'm not in the Scarlet, so I don't know exactly what what he's doing, what what's his his way, or, or I don't know what's his his what, what he has to do there. So, but definitely, Sean Fitzpatrick is deserves the respect of everyone, and and probably his opinion is is well respected. So how much he can bring into the table, I don't know, but but it's it's great to to see like he's involved in 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 this part of the world, you know.